Hey buddies, Sumnut Sky here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're going to show you how you can install and play a mod pack from Minecraft called Vault Hunters. A lot of you guys may know what this is already. There's a lot of YouTubes on video, uh, YouTubes on video, videos on YouTube from Captain Sparkles, Iskal, um, and there's a Vault Hunters SMP. Uh, and you guys maybe have been following that. Perhaps that's why you're searching the video. Maybe you're just looking for a new cool mod pack to play. And this certainly is a new and cool mod pack to play. Um, it's a lot of fun. It kind of makes me feel like, and funnily enough, Borderlands is here. It kind of makes me feel like Borderlands in Minecraft, but what Borderlands could be if you really went to a bunch of vaults over and over again. You're a vault hunter, and that's what you are in Borderlands. It's really, really cool, guys. It's a, It's a... It's like a vanilla plus mod pack to start with, but then once you beat the Ender Dragon unlock uh, new stuff and unlock the ability to enter vaults, it, you then start to unlock various different mods within the pack, and it's got a lot of time that you can put to it, a lot of grinding, which, you know, that may not be for you, so if you're not looking for a grindy mod pack, it may not be the best one, although there's lots of fun stuff outside of the grind as well, but it is one that you can sink a lot of time to, which is great for, you know, someone like myself, who's a streamer, I stream five days a week, um, and finding new cool Minecraft mod packs keeps me interested in the game. Anyway, <clears throat> enough about that, let's figure out how to install this and, uh, and get you guys playing. Now, I use the CurseForge app. If you don't have the CurseForge app, you can get it from here. Really easy to download. If you have any problems, I've made a video on how to do that, and I will link that video in the description below. Again, that's a video on how to install the CurseForge desktop app, which is, makes it very easy to manage all your mods for various games, not just Minecraft. So, if you've got your CurseForge downloaded and opened up, you can navigate yourself to the Minecraft category. You can see I've got mine downloaded there already. It is the 1.2 version of Vault Hunters, and it's for Minecraft 16.3. Not that you're going to need to know that, because you're going to do download the uh, mod pack directly from here. Simply put Vault Hunters in the search bar at the top, really, really simple, guys, and click the orange install button. Let it install. There are 108 or so mods, give or take, so it may take a hot minute to install. It may take a hot minute to open up. Give it some patience, and you should be fine. Now, once you've got this uh, installed, you can find it in your mod packs uh, under the game categories. I only have Minecraft because I've only modded Minecraft with CurseForge. And you can click play. Now, prior to doing that, I would highly recommend adding some RAM. Like I said, there's lots of different mods. Adding RAM is always a good idea, even if there are no mods. So you're going to right click your mod pack, go to view profile, this three dot icon here and go to profile options. We're going to turn off, this should be ticked by default, the use system memory settings. We're going to turn that off and we're going to crank it up to say 8,000, 6,000, 10,000, um, probably higher than 8,000 if you're going to be wanting to use shaders and whatnot. Um, I'm not using shaders at the moment, 8,000 is fine. 6,000 probably fine too, but I'm 8,000 to be comfortable. And that's that, guys. It's really, really nice and easy. Now, once you press play, mine's going to say Minecraft's already open, and it's going to open your launcher. So once you press play, Minecraft's already running. It's not now because I just closed it, but it hasn't registered that yet. Perfect. Vault Hunters, everything's already loaded in there for you. You don't have to do anything. It's already ready to go. All you have to do is click play, and then obviously join a server. If you're joining a server, hopefully you know how to do that. If you don't, I've got a video on how to do that as well. And... Um, you can also obviously enter into a solo world and do your own thing. Um, it does take a minute to load up. Uh, there is like 108 megabyte. 100, that was weird. I was gonna say there's 108 mods, but there's 108 on the board there. Anyway, anyway, that's it. It's really simple, guys. It's a really cool mod, mod pack. It's a lot of fun. I've been playing this on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy. We've got a little SMP going on, the Nuts Vault Hunters SMP. And uh, I go live five days a week, every day except Monday and Friday at one o'clock UK time. And it would be great to see some of you guys there. Regardless, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one.